Hey, Dork Knight here, bringing you another DC Collectibles review. Today we're going to be looking at the Batman Animated Series Joker figure. Now, if you've been watching my videos from the beginning, you know me and this line kind of have a troubled history. But this freaking angle keeps breaking on me! Now, before we take a closer look at the figure, let's take a closer look at the box. You get a nice view of Joker in the window box packaging. Batman Animated Series. The Joker, he comes with a few accessories here. Now, on the back, not much else going on, just another view of Batman. Now, DC Collectibles has supposedly responded to the fan complaints from the previous wave. Now, let's go ahead and crack this figure open to see if we're just going to get some more broken ankles. And here's Joker out of packaging. Now, I really want to say I love this figure, but I think I just like it. But I really want to like it more, especially because this is my Joker. You know, Big Shock, you know, Joker is my favorite villain. You know, same, same as, you know, about 80% of everyone else. But this is my absolute favorite interpretation of the Joker. So I had really high hopes for this figure, and I guess maybe in a way there was no way it was ever going to live up to them completely. But I, I would have liked the figure to be a bit better. But still a good figure, so let's go ahead and take a closer look. Here's the Joker up close. Now, I really dig the look of the figure. I think it's a well-sculpted figure. I really like how it's painted. There is some things that people don't like about it, and I can see why. The main point of contention is with the head sculpt. It's not really a perfect representation of the animated series Joker before the new Batman Adventures. A lot of people are kind of saying that it has more of a Killer Croc vibe to it. A lot of people are pointing out various things like how he kind of doesn't really have the cheeks here or anything like that. Now while I can understand those criticisms, for me I think this head sculpt really works for the animated series Joker. And also I'm kind of considering getting two of these because it kind of looks like a new Batman Adventures Joker, too, and I think that's what the real problem is. It has a lot more of the sharp angles and sleekness that we saw in the new Batman Adventures that we didn't see in the original three seasons. Like, how his profile is here. It just, it does not read as animated series Joker. How angular his eyes are, and the simplicity of how the smile is done. It really reads almost more new Batman Adventures. Which is why I'm considering getting two of these, because... I don't think DC Collectibles is going to be doing a new Batman Adventures Joker because not a lot of people like that design. So as this kind of weird mix of the new Batman Adventures and original animated series Joker, I think this figure actually really works. Now I do agree, I wish the eyes were more yellow as they should be in the original series and this is a consistent problem with the crooked painted teeth that actually is pretty consistent. I've seen some people's that looks like they're not quite so crooked, but it, this seems pretty consistent. And it's always this line, I think. I think it's always this line, which is weird. It's like, I guess it's a production error. Another point of contention is the hair. It's, again, not really the most perfect representation of how his hair looked in the animated series. Though, I guess you can describe them wings, kind of came out a bit more, and they kind of had, like, two edges. This is very more simplified. Again, it's what I mean. It has more of a new Batman Adventures vibe to it. It's like, let's take the animated series design and just draw him in the new Batman Adventures style. That's what this really reads to me. Really like how the hair is done, though. I really like the green sheen they got going in there. And I do like the... I think it's either a paint or a plastic. It almost has a pearlescent white to it, which is pretty cool. Really like how they did the lips. Very clean. This is actually somewhere where I really expected a lot of problems to occur, but nope, it's pretty clean. I mean, you kind of do get a hint of a cheek here, so that's pretty nice. I do have some weird... Um, I'm going to call this the Jack Nicholson edition. You know, watch watch 1989 Batman. I'm pretty sure this is the same spot. He's got the little purple smudge. I got the Jack Nicholson edition, apparently. I dig the suit. I think it's really well done. It's very spot on for Bruce Timm's design. It's very simple, but that's how the designs were in the animated series. I do wish they maybe sculpted in like a collar or something here just so it didn't look like the tie was just coming out of his neck. It looks like he's kind of rocking the Freddy from Scooby-Doo look. Really like the mustard yellow they used for the shirt though. It's really nice and again very accurate. Very simple paint, just one shade purple and white. Very cleanly done pants. Uh, very few issues, like I kind of have like some weird issues here, but for the most part it's actually a pretty issue free figure. Got some nice shoes, really like how they did that. I think these are called spats, really nicely done. Very clean, again very clean, very nicely done. There's not a whole lot to say about the Joker figure just because his design is pretty simple, which is why I think people are mad about the head sculpt. It's like it's really the one thing you really had to get right. But again, I stand by it. I think this is actually a pretty nice Joker sculpt. I mean, like once you put it down, I mean, that is, that is the Joker. No matter what, no matter what your favorite design is, that's Joker. That's what's important to me, is it just reads Joker. Now, if you don't recall, I did mention earlier that I really like this figure 
but I don't love it. I want to love it. But it's mostly drawn down by two things. One is the articulation. It's passable, but it's not great. Honestly, like Batman and Catwoman had better articulation. As I said before, Joker's articulation is a little lacking. It's very simple. His head's on a ball joint, but it can't really look up. And it's, I think it's because it's sculpted on the slant to really help with the down movement. So you really get that awesome Joker stare there. His arms can go out that far. They can't really rotate. They're really hindered by the suit, which is a little disappointing, but you got some movement there. Single jointed elbow, along with a swivel at the elbow. He's got a wrist swivel and a wrist hinge. He's got a waist cut. His legs can go out that far and go back that far. He's got some nice crotch pits going on. I mean, yeah, look at, look at that. Look, look at that. I've never done that. You got ballerina joker up in here. He's got a single jointed knee. And this is the main thing that bothers me. Nothing really going on in the ankles except the swivel. I would really at least like to see some up and down movement. I, I really kind of disappointed by that. Like I said, his articulation is simple. It, it's serviceable. It's serviceable for what the Joker is. But I just, I wish it could have been done a little bit better. I think it's pretty safe to say that DC Collectibles has fixed the broken joints issue. All these joints are nice like nothing feels like it's gonna break there was a scary moment with um this knee i think but at once you know i think it's just because of the paint because once you break that paint all the joints are pretty wonderful i'm really happy with dc collectibles i really have to give points there that they listened to fan concerns and they responded even if it resulted in these figures being delayed like no one's business you know what I'd rather wait for a good figure than get a figure quick that just falls apart. Now, the second thing that really brings down this figure, I want to maintain a channel that's, you know, pretty family-friendly. You know, you can watch this if you're 8 or if you're 45. If you're over 45, go to hell. But the second thing that I'm just going to say it, the accessories are shit. I guess the accessory choices were based off of the episode, The Last Laugh. Now, I like that episode, and I like that it takes place on April Fool's, and this figure came out on April Fool's, so I'd, I'd like to believe DC Collectibles was being cute. But, for accessories for a figure, it's one of the worst episodes you could have picked for the Joker accessories. Guys, come on. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Comes with a nice ice pick. It's really the only accessory you're gonna get any use out of it. This figure, and that, that's something else. I don't know if you saw that. Um, the new paint that I'm guessing they're using, um, it it flakes, man. I mean, like it it was all caked in into these joints. I, I'm getting white paint off of me. It's crazy. I do like that these figures don't smell like weed anymore, though. It's a pretty nicely done. They got some nice silver paint going on here. Again, very simply painted, you know, as it should be. Along with interchangeable hands that we'll get into that. But I hope you like the hand that you put the ice pick in because I, I can't get mine out. So I, I think I'm stuck with this forever. Comes with a pearl necklace. That's, that's fantastic. A comb. I like that it's translucent. And a telescope that you're not going to be able to get on the hold. And the telescope's nice, I guess. I mean, you know, it's got some you know, nice little sculpted details in there. But why does he have a telescope? I mean, I understand that, you know, it's in the episode. But again, it, it, there actually is an eye hole there. That's pretty nice. But I, I understand it's in the episode. But it's just... This is what you guys decided to go with with the Joker figure? This? I mean... I mean, this? Don't know what you guys were thinking. I, I, I just, I just don't. I, don't. I don't know what you were thinking. It, it just stop. Just go back to the drawing board because these are lame. I mean, come on. You should just, should just said screw it and just gave him the basic Joker accessories. I would have liked a revolver. I don't care that the Joker has used a revolver. You know, that's the one of the most overused accessories. At least it's something I can use when I'm posing the figure instead of a comb and a telescope and a pearl necklace. <laughs> Joker also comes with this breathing helmet from the episode. You just kind of crop it on his head like this. Yeah, fishbowl on the head. That's, that's an awesome accessory. And here's all the hands he comes with. Like I said, you, you better like which hands you pick, because it's, it's going to be stuck. 
Um, they're pretty much all the same for each side, so we'll just look at one side each again. We have this. I'm pretty sure it's just for the ice pick. I think you'll probably get the comb in there. Because we'll find out, it, you know, because uh, I want to have Joker combing his hair. You know, I, I just, you know, combing his hair. Yep, yep, there you go. There you go. Combing his hair. Joker combing his hair. You Got another holding hand. I guess I'll put his telescope in there, even though he can't hold it like a normal person would hold a telescope. And a fist for each side that does have a little bit of a purple bleed on there. Again, I guess I got the Jack Nicholson edition. Again, some more of that, that white paint. Man, it's, it's in those joints. Be careful with these joints for the hinges because they're, they're caked. They are very caked in paint. It's crazy. He also comes with your standard base for this line where you see the nice Bruce Tim turnaround. Again, you can see what I mean with the design of Joker here that... That he has a much more rounded face than we actually see on the figure. Again, I mean, yeah, his face changed so much in even the first three seasons. It's actually pretty wild how many different episodes. Because, you know, they were done by different studios. You know, a lot of the time a different animation studio would take over for an episode. And they draw Joker a little different. So I think that's part of why the head sculpt kind of turned out like it did. I think Irene Matar, who is my favorite sculptor for this series, I think... She was trying to kind of hit a, a happy medium, just every Joker design. Now, despite my moderately vocal issues with the figure, I do like the figure. I think DC Collectibles did a pretty nice job with this figure. Just wish it could have been better. You know, there's room for improvement, I guess would just be the simplest thing to say. But it's still a very nice figure, and I'm very happy to have it in my collection. I'm just... So happy to have an animated series Joker, because, I mean, th this is my Joker. This is, this is my essential Joker. I mean, I I'm, I'm done with Joker figures now. I'm done. I'm done. Just get out. Video's over. Not really. Keep watching. So if you want to pick this up, you can probably find it at your local comic book shop. That's what I did. Amazon.com or BigBadToyStore.com. So if you like this video, let me know. Leave a comment, a like, maybe even hit that subscribe button right over there if you want to see more videos from the Dork Knight. So until next time... Stay dorky, my friends.